Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Um, it has been, oh, I think about five days since I last recorded. Holy shit. Like, I said I was trying to start recording every single day, and I just completely failed it. I'm sorry. Um, I did upload a Final Fantasy episode today. Um, so there's that, but that was recorded five days ago. I've been having that ready to upload for five days now, and just haven't like felt motivated for it. I'm sorry, I, I I I don't have an excuse. I literally don't. Nothing has really happened that would stop me. It's just um my um on Final Fantasy XIV itself, my main character I've been uh doing some shit for them and it's it's not a like a grind so well it is. But it's just really enjoyable and I haven't really wanted to play anything else. Um so otherwise I do want to play this though, I do want to experience Persona 5 Royal properly. So let's get on with this. Um, so last time. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Last time, if I remember right, we had our exams. Um, and on the last day of our exams, roughly, we ran into a new kid whose name was Yusuke. And Yusuke is an artist who is also the apprentice to um, a supposed better artist called Madarame. And when we're in Mementos, uh, with Neko Nohara, or whatever his name was, he mentioned how he wants us to stop Madarame, or save, or whatever Madarame, because Madarame is supposedly a very bad person. And I believe we went to, um, did we, yeah, we went to Madarame's art exhibit today, and... Yusuke seemed a little off about one of the paintings, and I think it may be one that he, that he drew, or, or, or designed, or, what do you call it? It's not really drew, because you're not, you don't really draw when you paint. You sort of just splash the paint around in specific ways. <laughs> it sounds weird. Is it drew? Is, is that the right word? Like, drawed? Drew? Like, is that the right? I think it is. Maybe. Painted? I, I guess that's the right- I could be either of them. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> but I think he painted that one. Um, such an obvious word and I just completely missed it. Sometimes I'll be like, what's the right word for this? And it's so obvious and my mind's just not working. Um, but I believe we're going to go meet up with Madarame because... Um, well, go meet up with Yusuke to get an idea of where Madarame lives. And I think it might be because we want to see if he has a palace. So, I'm going to study, and we're going to head over Make there sure to Alright, I'm heading home. Yep, Morgana. <laughs> Watching me scribble, scribble, scribble. Knowledge. I scribble lines in my book and I get some knowledge. It's so fun. I wish real life was like this. Monday. Okay, let's get started. Hey there, I'm Dr. Maruki, a school counselor. Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside the, of counseling now. I want to talk a little about how mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to stress you all or an, out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So, See, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's proof of it. There's proof it can even heal you, depending on your outlook. So, Kanelika. Any ideas? What do we call the phenomenon when believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? Placebo. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is it. I did psychology That's as a kid. Right. Yep, that's correct. Some people specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. I forget what the other one's called. There's like an opposite to a placebo. Where if you don't believe it, then the medicine is less likely to work even if it's the proper medicine. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. We call that a nocebo. nocebo. Ah, okay, nocebo. No, no way, nocebo. <laughs> no way, nocebo. 
Give me that charm. Monorama exhibit is great, you gotta see it. I've been feeling pretty down lately. Maybe I should go to counseling. I never knew that I could be so explosive. Commander, is that you? <laughs> Have you been to counseling yet? Oh, the model I make, it, huh? When is it until? It's so explosive, uh -huh. Phantom thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare! Oh god. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh no. Oh, ah! kitty! <laughs> Shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. No, no, it's, it's not. It's not. Um, it's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. Oh no. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's time to button mash. I'll press forcefully. I should press gently. I'll press gently from Ghana. Oh, she actually likes it. He likes it, I mean. Morgana liked it. That's so cute. <laughs> so, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? And we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist, looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. All right, so let's go down there. Actually, I want to take a look up. Uh, huh? Ah, fuck. Damn it! I wanted to take a look around. Um, usually, you can hear people. The part of Rame exhibit was wonderful. He really is the best. My only regret is that it was so crowded, I couldn't spend more time there. I know, once they showed it on TV, all the people was just with just a casual appreciation for art flooded in. I wish I could bring one home to enjoy whatever I want. Maybe I'll ask my husband to buy me one. Hmm? Oh yes. Hmm? I, hear you wanted, I hear you went to see M Mr. Monorama's exhibit, may I ask what you thought on it? Ah, it was amazing. Every piece on display was absolutely superb. Mr. Madarame truly is the pride of Japan's art world. He's so talented, and yet so humble. Mr. Madarame's personal exhibit opened just yesterday, but it's already a huge success. Tickets, unsurprisingly, are extremely hard to come by. Back to you, Ken! Oh yeah, Ken! Well, today, the weather is going to be full of hearts. Hearts everywhere. Hearts! I wish you could paint again. It's his fault. I have to live such a shitty life. What do you mean? It's got nothing to do with you. He's fooled everyone. You're all idiots! You're all gonna die! Alright then. Well, I enjoy the. Well, I enjoy the matter I makes a bit. I don't know much about art. You're fine. You won't need to think too deeply. You'll feel it when you see his work. Yes, the passion that Madarame puts into his work is undeniable. I'm sure you'll feel it too. You see, I've heard a lot of good things about this exhibit on TV. 
I'm getting excited. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, paint me, Madarame, paint me. Wait. Sure, it's this way. I don't remember seeing a house. Um... It's supposed to be in a residential area past Central Street. We'll have to walk a bit, though. So let's get going. Tsuguru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it, just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? What? No one sneeze or we'll what? this house down, okay? Is that meant to be a wolf and sheep? Whatever the nursery rhyme thing is Who called. Is it? Sensei is currently. No, it's pigs um, and wolf. It's Takamaki. I'll be right out. And my friends, fuck you. Really do live here. No, I don't wish to see you. You two are here as well. Hey, sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. No, I don't want to see you. I only want to see Han. I'm going to paint her beautifully. You guys can um, you can hold my tools. Uh, you you there with the uh, with the cat in your bag? I can obviously see that. How does no one ever see that? You you can be my stool. Yes, S kneel down and let me sit on you. <laughs> what the? Is it true, Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too. Yeah. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> That's some evil laugh. Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home! This is no act of violence, it is charity! And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. Oh. I had no Burke family compersion. since Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day. You will rue this day. You really think that? Yusuke. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's oh, titled beautiful. Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. Is she meant to be looking down at something? <laughs> I can't tell. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Goodbye. Those two 
seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Got it. Man, right when Let's we, try the app. we found a new target too. Come on. How's the MetaNav? Oh, oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace too, right? Damn it. Damn it all. But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real though, what the hell's going on? So it it seems like the keywords have to do with each person and not really where they live, but where they're focused. So like Matarame's is his shack. He lives at his shack. And the word plagiarism is mostly because Matarame is plagiarizing. So that's like one keyword. That's like a connection. They're two different keywords, but they're connected. Matarame and plagiarism. And then the second set of keywords would be the location. It would be his shack. But what, is he, what does he see his shack as? I think that's what this is. I think that's how the MetaNav works. Like Kamishita's was um, Kamishita. And then the keyword that connected to Kamishita was... Um, uh, Perv? Or was it something... Was it something in particular? Um, I forget what the word was. Pervy teacher? Was it? Yeah, pervy teacher. Because that's what he was. He was a pervy teacher. Much worse than pervy, but still. Um, and then the second list, the second set of keywords was school. And he saw the school as a castle. But that means that it's not their home. It's just where they're focused. Okay, that makes a little sense. Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! It's what he sees it as, not what everyone else sees it as. And guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. Guidance counseling office. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. The museum. If we think from there, what would it be? Yeah, the museum. Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation? Whoa, really? Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. <laughs> so even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that. Look! This place is grand. That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Probably traps, though. Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. 
But man, just look at that insane crowd. Yes! Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Ugh, we're gonna have to wait in the gigantic line? Uh... Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. Shall we go? We'll just have to find a way up there over it. In any case, let's get going. A truck looks convenient. Yep, here we go. Oh, there we go. Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me that this is the old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Jeez. And, like, there's a garden. So he sees this as, like, Somewhere. maybe his home. Like, that's why there's a garden. It's like a mansion kind of thing. Like, how people expect gardens in their mansions and things, I guess. Sadly, uh, while it's a bit of a spoiler, you can't actually explore this garden that much. Like, you can't go over to where the sh like, later on there will be shadows. Maybe there are some now. Yeah, there are. Like, look. There's shadows here, but you can't actually fight them, yet they show up as red on your, uh, thieves' site. It's a little sad. I'd love to be able to jump down here and fight them. Ooh, the skylight's open. Think we can get in there? But it's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? Now's my hey, don't worry. I have a rope. I'm a I'm a tool specialist, after all. So what you call a Joker? Want to head inside? Sure. How suspicious! It's quiet in here. Almost eerily so. Oh. Hey, this is. It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out about. Hmm. Well, the palace reflects this its rule as heart. We may want to check these paintings out. Hmm. All right. So, what are these paintings of? Oop! Are these gonna be laser hey. things? These look like they're gonna be lasers or something. Hold on a second, Joker. Let's take a look at the paintings first. Oh, right. Hmm? Oh, hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Someone's name and age. What the hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Hmm. Let's check the other paintings, too. I think there might be something important about them. Curious about the other paintings. Okay. Hey. This one has a full name. This one's got a name and an age too. Are all of them former artists? I can see it. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the. Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? Oh. You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. That looks like the main character from Persona 1. Sort of. Oh, is that Yusuke? It is. Focus. 
What? No way. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Uh, he's pupils. They're well painted. Yeah, that's certainly what she's asking. I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. I can feel it. Oh, there's a chest. There's, so, there's so, some sort of brochure here. Hmm. What, did you find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Open the lock. Straw doll. Hmm. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guy on here. Let's take it with us. Oh yeah. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility, at the very least. It should be a good reference for the scale of this place. Huh, but the map only shows half of the museum. I see, it says it's one out of two. <sighs> then the two out of two's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this place? We can worry about that another time. Right now our objective is confirming Madarami's cognition. We may have to cons reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty sketched to me. Luna Cutlass. Oh. Oh, this beauty looks like it's just my size. This is mine now, all right? Go ahead. Yep. Now I'm even more of a threat. Oh yeah. It's Madarame. Oh, that looks creepy. Are those... Oh, no, I think they're just leaves. It looked like the branches were skewering people for a second there. I'm like, what? Mine's of the Whomping Willow from uh, Harry Potter. Oh, that's Monorami's... Oh, that looks like an evil face. What the hell? Demon face! On the, on the, um, the hanging things, whatever they're called. Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those wow. who cannot do so have no worth living? What the hell? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up. He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still. When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Let's do this. That's what I'm talking about! 
Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Let's hope so. The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Katagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem. What do you mean? Something something wrong? I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. I mean, we've talked to a few people that have mentioned being chucked aside by someone, but I haven't actually said Madarame. You know, I guess that, part to that, that part's totally different from what happened with Kamoshida. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if any person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in, st in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're going to let Yusuke decide if Monorama is worth going after or not? Don't know, if, I if it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Can you ask Yusuke on? Okay, got it. Guess we can talk some more about this after that. Okay, let's manage Shibuya after school tomorrow. Hey. Hey, another box came for you. Oh. Thanks. Alright, well, let's sleep. Well then. After a day in the metaverse, we can't really do anything. Hey, it's me. I just can't forgive Madarame, but what On said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? Probably. Off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I, I'm not wrong, am I? We'll take them down. Oh, yeah. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. Our love is between ourselves. Fuck you, you read you. Tuesday. Alright, I contacted Kitagawa kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Uh, cover yourself and paint. Yeah. Can you at least try to take this seriously? Look, you don't gotta do go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarami. That is true. Sounded like Katagawa couldn't wanted this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. I got a response from Kitagawa kun He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Yikes. She got all the Mishima today? And it'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Okay, see you later. We finally landed a big target. Come on. Let's get some dirt on Madarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? 
Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Madarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? <laughs> prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? Um, <laughs> did she cut her bangs? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like she's got more makeup on or something. Nope, I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I feel like he's gonna freak out again. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the These two guys are like my arms and my legs. We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Ooh, he's in the zone. Don't disturb me while I'm painting, you peasant. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. And this is where her hair is. It goes this long. These are her beautiful clothes. And these two dots are her, her bosoms. Stay put. Don't get caught. you're talking to. This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And oh, what is the hell? A, lock? a door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? <sighs> Are you done? It's no good. What? What? I'm sorry. You were drawing there. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? Like one. <laughs> I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! <sighs> Hitagawa-kun? Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. And the other pupils? 
I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! <laughs> nude?! <laughs> Why? Uh, to think I'd be able to create okay. a nude painting with my most okay. ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Sensei is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? We have to leave. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up, That's please. crazy. Don't worry, on. You flash those titties. What? Is she done being a <laughs> Morgana. She's gonna. He's, okay. Morgana's gonna be pissed. You moron. He's totally out of his mind. I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up. How dare that, Yusuke? The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi, but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Lady On's gonna... Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? <laughs> Bro, are you not confident? What? Are you saying I'm... Uh, no, I mean... That's not what this is about! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. 
Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Your hideout is moved from the Shujin Academy rooftop to the Shibuya Tech Your Building Access Way. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Um, we don't care about art. I don't know why Ryuji would know. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. Whatever, I still can't forgive him, demanding to paint Lady Ann nude, and claiming to report us to the police. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? Sort of. I have some interesting news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Isn't Neka Nahara? Um... What do you mean? You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Yeah. Nakanohara. That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. I found out something good saying about Madarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame stealing his work. That's unforgivable. The journalist was looking into Madarami too. Could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it, I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kotagawa kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably gonna be on edge about us. Well anyway, Madarami's still a piece of crap. Let's meet out tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it, see you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna end this here. That was, um, there was a lot of dialogue in that one because we're starting again to a new palace. This is, I think, the first palace where we can't complete it in one day because we get kicked out of it multiple times, I think like three more times. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to leave it here, guys. And tomorrow, next time, we will hopefully get to the point where I can actually finish the, the palace and um, get to some grinding. Because the thing, with, the thing that I'm doing in every single palace from this point on is I want to get, I want to try to get as much personas as I can. Complete, like, fill out the compendium as much as I can for that palace and get a few bonus levels in and, sh and stuff like that because I think Royal has made the bosses a little harder I I do know what the boss for Madarame's one is like and it's pretty different to what it used to be and so I'm hoping to get a pretty good persona to deal with it um, but otherwise I will see you guys later
see ya.